Hey guys, we're still uh, out here at the hangar. We're doing some maintenance again on the uh, Okanagan. This uh, video, I think I'm gonna concentrate on the Happy Jacks. I've got uh, Happy Jack 4500s. 4500, I believe. Let's see if this one's got a 4150, Happy Jack 4150. So the issue we're having is this jack on the rear left, let's restart this, is making some noise. So let's see. That's up. I got it blocked underneath it. So let's see if we can get it. Let me put it under low. There it is. So it's making a it's making a pretty good noise. I talked to Happy Jack. They think that it could be a brass bushing that's up in here that this motor drives a gear. So I'm gonna be taking this off. I have some new thrust bearings, some needle thrust bearings and a washer for in there, but um, we'll see if it's this brass bushing. I don't know what the part number is for that. So it may just need to be lubricated. We'll check its clearances and stuff on it and see if it's still doing good. But let's, uh, Let's get this uh, jack off real quick and we'll take it over to the bench. Pop that clamp off. And then inside's gonna be the connect. These are torqued to 25 foot pounds is what I've read. And they seem like they're a little tighter than 25 foot pounds. Come on off. Oh, I guess there's one more down here. It's a bolt. Is that it? Yep, that's it. All right. Pull this trim out. Yeah. Nice. All right, let's go over to the bench. Here we are, our friend. Here we are at the bench. Looks like there's a little pinching going on. Nothing that's compromised. So let's uh, put you guys right here. Maybe I'll punch you the other way. So we're not blown out. Ooh. How's that look? That looks a little better, eh? All right, so we're gonna pop these off and pull that head out. These are 10 millimeter, right? Oh, three eighths. Let me get a wrench. All right, so I grabbed a wrench and a bench. This is a 10, what I had sitting here. A little while, I'll back that out. These are rubber sealed washers. Whoops. Keep the moisture out of these. All right, let's pop this head off. Just wiggle it back and forth and she'll come right out. So without looking in there, it looks like there's been a little bit of water intrusion there. There's some rusty spots on the plastic. So just take a peek in there. Looks pretty good. Nothing too bad going on there that we can see. I'm gonna set. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this disconnect, how this disconnect works. This is just disconnecting the motor right now with this in this position or up engaged. This, I don't know what they call this, coupler shaft. It's engaging on the motor. So the motor slides into half of this. And then the other half goes over the top of the ball screw when you push this lever down it just disengages the motor right so now the motor can spin freely up here on the top until you put that pin back and then that turns again and it'll spring down on there and engage that so that's what that guy's doing but let's just take that off we'll set this aside and then we'll open up this motor head and look in there and see what what that is about 
These things are pretty heavy too. So there's six of the square head screws on the bottom of this. Let's take these out. Now up in here, there's gonna be some gears and some bushings and some white lithium grease. All right, let's uh, wiggle this top off. In the cap here, there's a couple, there's a bearing here, a brass bushing. Up here, it's just on plastic and it looks, I don't know if you can see that, it's oblongated in there. So that gear is off to the side a little bit. I'm not feeling any lips on this brass bushing here. The grease in here is old, but it's still lubricated. There's this grease over here. You can see how, how dark it is. That would lead me to believe that there's some wear going on under there. This is a clutch for the motor. Uh, let me get a paper towel here. It looks kind of loose. I haven't had this apart, but you can see this top metal plate. Looks like there's some springs in there. Oh, it's wavy. That looks like it might be a little bit loose. That grease is all gunky on the bottom of there. But I think that this gear should be driven by probably a, a slot or something that's in here. Yeah, see if I wiggle that bolt or the nut on the top, you can see the gear kind of moving down there. So it's transferring all of its, the motor's driving this outer gear, which is transferring through the clutch, through this clutch to this shaft which then transfers over to this side, which drives the, the leg up and down. So it's got a clutch in here. That seems loose. I don't know. I'm gonna have to call Lippert or pull apart another one of these legs to see what kind of tension should be on that. Let me pull the cap off another one of these legs and see if there's that much play in these other guys. So I'll be right back, we'll check that out. Okay, so I got the head off the other one. This is still this one. Cover on this real quick. Just set this uh, up here. Let's pop the cover off of this one. And check that clutch and see if it matches. I have a feeling that's probably too loose. Uh, I tried to call it Lippert or uh, Happy Jack. They're over in uh, Indiana, so their office is closed. If it's not very obvious, I'll probably try to reach out to them tomorrow and see if they can provide any info on that. All right, let's pop this one off. Oh, there we go. Nope, that one's a little bit loose too. I'm gonna say that's normal for it. It's not having a problem lifting it. It's not like it's slipping, it's still going up and down. So I'm just gonna put this together and we'll keep digging into that one. Get lithium grease all over my fingers here. Let's just set this one over here. Okay, back to this one. It's pretty solid on that shaft. This one's very good wobbly. They're scarring inside that brass on there. That's pretty loose. Let's check this one and we'll see if that other bearing's that loose. It is. I mean, this thing is 15 years old. There's going to be somewhere on it, right? I make noise too. I'm older than these things. I guess we'll just inspect it, clean it, grease it, there's just a cotter pin holding that on. The dirty grease down me. Ew. Let's clean these up. Look for any abnormal wear. And that shaft looks pretty good. There's no 
huge scars in it. Add up. Clean it up. I mean, just wipe it off. If you have a, I don't have a parts bin, so I can't really clean it. This is gonna work for me. Oops, three are cleaned up. Let's get some of the old gunk out of here. There's a brass washer or something on the bottom of this side here. Let's look at these shafts. They feel okay. Cleaned on inside this one. Shove that down in there. Twist it around a little bit. There's a couple scars in there. This side. What is that? Oh, that's just grease. So I don't know. Can you see inside there? It looks like. Can you see that in there? Maybe? I don't know. Is that too bright? Looks like we've some spinning in there. I'm wondering if that needle bearing isn't froze up. Let's just keep going. We'll get everything as good as we can here. Kind of keep working through it. Maybe we'll find something else. So I'll reassemble this. Does anybody remember which way it went together? Oh, where's my grease? I got some lithium. Or I'm gonna put a small coat of it on the gear. Those two can mesh together. Same up here. Guy went down. Put this together. I'm gonna put some grease on this to go down and lubricate inside that brass bearing a little bit. Grease on the gear. All right. Clutch, we're gonna leave. We're not doing anything to this. It seems to be normal. That up. Let's put some grease on top of there. Top of there. I don't think anything goes up there. Put this guy back down in here. So there's the inside of that. Too, I'm sure, but whatever. Do whatever makes you happy. Pulling some of this old grease out makes me happy. All right, so make sure this, there's a rubber seal on here too, you can see around there. Make sure that is around to keep the moisture out of this guy. Just around the top on there, stick the nozzle inside there. Grease up this top of this gear over here. You. That one goes up just into a piece of plastic, it looks like. All right, put this guy back together. Is this backwards? What's going on here? It is. Put it together the correct way. So that's the only way it will go together. We'll screw this thing back together. You don't want to put these in super tight because you don't want to strip anything. So I got my drill set to number one. Now I'll drive them down in there and then I'll just give them a little bit of torque so I can feel how much torque is on it. You don't want to strip these out, right? Cause that's the only thing that's keeping all of the water and bugs and everything else out of the inside of there. Got all those back. All right, I'll clean that up when I'm done with it. I don't want to get these too messed up. This one over here, let's grab this jack here. Oops, should get dirty. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna need to move you guys. So I can put this up here on the bench. So we need to pull, we need to pull this handle out. The lever, just get under it and slowly pull it out. This side. Get a screwdriver under it, it looks like. It's a plug, so it's gonna have to come out even. Let's see, All right, this flush cut dikes. Get that on it. Pry it out, there it goes. All right, we gotta reuse all this stuff. Okay, let's look down in here. Uh, get my needle nose. So we can take this plastic piece out the disconnect. I'm just gonna set this stuff over here. Uh, let's see. There is a uh, a cotter pin or a C clip on this gear over here on the right. I can reach my screwdriver through this hole over here. Just reach down there. Grab 
that, pull that out. That over there. So that'll mean the shaft can come out. That's in decent shape. Pull this gear out. Whoop. Oh. Alright, so now we got those gears out. We can pull this gear. I think it's just sitting on a pin in there. And that's another. If you jack them up, you'll hear it start ratcheting. Uh, let's see what else you got down in there. There's a. Is that filthy? There's a washer down there. I think we can lift this thing off. Let me see if I can get that washer out of there. I don't even know if it matters. I got a pin in here. Oop. That that gear was spinning on. I have to turn that to the side. Pin, now it should come off. Oh, she's a little stiff. Ooh. Look at that. <coughs> that don't look too normal. Little rust. This is the brake plate. And this ball screw is pretty gummed up. We'll have to spend some time cleaning that up. Here's the washer way up here. That's supposed to be down in the groove down there. All right, that looked like a ball. What do we got down here? I don't know. So these are 41. Is this a 4150? There's 4500s on the front. So I got two 4500s and two 41. Let me uh, clean my hands off here. That thing still seems like it's moving. This is the brake. This is the brake spring. So it twists. Whoop, can't see that, can you? All right, so this is the brake spring. And it'll twist, it'll grab this this hub, I guess. When this hub is down in there, it'll only let it go one direction. You can't go backwards with it. You can only go one direction if you go the other way. It's kind of like a China finger cuff, right? So this is one of the washers in here for that needle bearing. It's burned, so it's had some friction on it. Let's pull the spring off. Let's look at this needle bearing. This should be really clean in here, not all gummed up like this. So this bearing is shot, burned up. I don't know if you can see that. Let's pull this other, this other washer off. Where's that other washer? It's very rough. I don't know if you can hear that. It feels very rough too. All right, so let's... Uh, Wiping this thing off here. That doesn't look the prettiest right now. I think somebody's had this apart and put a whole bunch of grease in here. Cause you can feel, like you hear that? This is an acne screw. So these are precision. Right? There shouldn't be, you shouldn't put anything on there but oil and wipe it off. Right? Because if you get too much on there, you're just going to cause this, like what we got here, where it's all gummed up. So whoever's had this apart, probably, because I don't think, unless they put grease in the bottom of these, I don't see how these would operate different than any other one. But that should not be. I guess we'll find out when we open up the other one. Let's run this thing all the way out. Filthy. 
I'll probably find some brake cleaner or something and clean this thing up. Let me lay this down on the bench. You guys are in the way. My tools are in the way. Let's put this back over there. All right. Let's, uh, where do you guys want to go? Let's adjust this stand here. All right. I can't even run that out. Oh, it binds up. Oh. All right. Out here today, I got some, uh, some brake parts cleaner. I got this, it's an Acme screw. So there's no bearings in it, it's just a nut. We're gonna clean this off. Oh, you can see right there. That's kind of where it started to get tight at. I'm gonna try to polish this up here after we clean it. There's a few spots that are a little rough on it, looks like. I don't think the bearing that was in here was the right one. So we're gonna put our bearings in there that we picked up. I'm gonna try to clean this screw that's in there. Let's see, I probably want some. This is gonna dry it out, of course, but we'll just, we'll leave it with some three in one. Doesn't sound gummed up now. You can hear rust in there when you tip it moving back and forth all right let's see here all the way out all right whoops ah, butterfingers going on here so i picked up some scotch pads doesn't feel like any of the uh Threads are too high or anything on this section here. Let me put this plastic piece back down. I don't know if I can get that down. I need some room here. I'm gonna put the drill on this end over here. Where do you guys want to be? There ish. All right, good, good choice. So we're gonna take one of these pads. I don't think I want the whole thing, so we'll cut it a little. Cut a little section off of it. We'll take some, take some nut off. We'll put it on this thing here. We want to go in. I'm gonna put this thing on here. Squee. I'm gonna have to stick that end in the vise. I get the vise, I'll stick. All right, so we got that on there. Let's put some lube on there. Grab my little piece here. We'll drive this in. Double that up on there. Do this spot that was real rough. Let's spray it. So this isn't getting down into the threads. Make sure that's tight enough over there. Uh, I got some steel wool here. Let's see if the steel wool will get down in there. Might have to wire brush it. See if it drives through that nut. Well, it drives through there now without any resistance on it. Still not good though. I need to wire brush that, so. I think I got a wire brush over here. Hey, yep. Let's clean that off, see what that looks like. Not a lefty, but it's working. I think that'll do. There's a little bit of damage. Right there, it's damaged a little bit. Dry shoe there now. Let's uh, let's clean it off. Take it all the way out and then we'll clean it. And then we'll put a little bit of lube on it. Take it out of the, out of here. I want it standing up. I don't, 
whatever goes down into the foot of it, I'm not too worried about, but we don't want all of the gunk and stuff plugging it up. So we're gonna shoot some more cleaner down in there. Make sure this screw is dry. I mean, I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes. Let this cleaner evaporate off of here. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll do it again. But I mean, it looks right here is where all that damage was. There's still a little bit, but it's going through that nut now without any problems. So, all right, let me, uh, we'll let this dry. We'll be right back. All right, so that is dry. Let's get this battery out of the way. I'm going to lay it back down. Then we're going to put some uh, three in one oil on this shaft and then we'll wipe it off, but make sure it's out. All right, so it's all the way out. Let's uh, put in a good amount of this on here. Like it'll probably drip off. Let me get a paper towel. Take the majority of it off. All right. We'll stand it up. And then we'll drive this guy down. Again. Let's oil on there for that nut. This is going to take forever. Let me uh, put the drill on it. I got a bunch of oil on my mitts. I like the organization I got going out here. It looks uh, it's very organized. Could probably use a better organized uh, hanger. Whoa. Okay. All right, that works for me. Let's take this off. So I'm still debating on that, uh, on that O-ring that we saw on the top of this. If it's, it's sitting right here. I don't think you guys can see that. It's right here. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a wiper O-ring or something on there or what. Let me move you guys here. So, this O-ring that's on here. I think there's another O-ring down on the other side of this nut, but I think it's smaller than this one. It seems like somebody had this apart and put something on here. So I'm not gonna put, cause it doesn't seat around here. So you'll see, there's my new ones. That's an old one, not the other. So this O-ring, Let's put this on. This is the one I'm gonna use. But you'll see what I'm talking about, right? See how it fits down in there? In this plastic cap, very nice. Compared to this one, here's an old one. But see the, the difference in the sizes. What's gonna happen when this gets screwed all the way down? It's gonna keep this, this would be the, the brake it'll keep it from crashing into everything down there and it'll seal it, right? So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use that one up there. So I think we're ready to go back together on here. We need a new washer. We need a new bearing. This is a 10, 1018 bearing, I think. I think there's a lip on here. It's not letting that go down. Let me, uh, I'm gonna have to file that. I'm gonna have to find a file. This guy went down there. Why doesn't this go down there? Let's turn it over and see. I don't want to force it. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then we need another washer for the top. All right. I got a mess. Here, behind camera. <laughs> Does everybody remember how this thing, whoops, went together? Just kidding. So we've got the brake hub here, it looks like. That's gonna sit on there. Look how nice that spins, huh? Got the brake spring. I should have put this on. And the brake spring is gonna catch inside of one of these roll pin holes right there. 
put this top on. It doesn't turn back, it only turns one direction, it won't turn the other way. And then on top of that, see what makes me think somebody did this before too? This brake plate, I don't think there's, I wouldn't imagine there's supposed to be a grease on top of it. Because if there was, why would you grease your brake? That's like, it's like getting greased brakes on your trailer, right? It won't work. I could be totally wrong though. Maybe this needs grease. But it sits like that, right? Everything it doesn't look like it's had any grease. It's pretty loud. They're doing some construction over here behind us. Tearing up some asphalt. Does that get grease? I don't think it does. Well, let's see, I think that's it. Time is it? Four o'clock? Lippert's closed, so I can't call them. This is gonna have, this is where all the weight rides on this guy. You can see, well, you probably can't see, but I can see. Let me, uh, if I'm pushing on it, you can see that it moves one direction, right? And it's supposed to stop it. So I have the electric motors, which stop this basically from freewheeling. I think if you don't have the electric motors, this brake is what's gonna stop it from freewheeling. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Thank God we're sitting here looking at this. I need to oil this bearing. That'd have been a no-no. We're just gonna put some three-in-one in there. That back on. There we go. She's ready to go back together. Let's grab the leg. There is the, the marks, the warning marks are on this side. So I'm gonna put that where the handle is. Plastic, no, oh, that's over here. Okay, there's old grease in here yet. Let me get this out of here. Is that washer still in there? That washer's still in there. Okay, so we need this roll pin. Can you guys see in there? Maybe not. There's a little roll pin. This guy here. Where is, what did I do with my needle nose, guys? I don't know which way that hole is. I'm gonna turn this. Oh, well, it's too far. So put that hole in that screw so it's in the corner in this roll pin. Whoa! So put the roll pin in the middle. That's going to be that little clutch for this other gear. This guy is going to step on that roll pin and ratchet. If it gets locked up or if you bottom out or top out, put some white grease on here. Yep. We seated down on it. We're going to put in, make sure this isn't scarred. Let's put a little grease on here. Stick this in just so it's kind of barely coming out. We're going to take this other gear. Clean the old grease off, put some new grease on. We're gonna put it down in there. And then we're gonna push the shaft in. That went easy. We're gonna take the C-clip. And the C-clip goes on the end of that shaft. There it is. We're gonna take the release, the brake release, or the motor engage release. Clean it up. I can't see how this would need any kind of lubricant. It can only go one way. You have to think it's gonna go like that, right? You can't put it in that way. Cause then it would have to go on the side with the gears. That ain't happening. So basically drop that down in there, only one side of this. See how this is keyed? The plug for the other side is just round, so. This side over here is the round side. This side, this needs to be cleaned up. I got this filthy. Let's see if I can't wipe this up here a little bit. My hands are a greasy mess. All right, so then this goes up 
Use my ratchet hammer. Ratchet hammer this side. Oh, we've got that. Is that it? That sure looks like it's it. And then the uh, motor goes on the top. This is our motor for this one. Gosh, that looks about right. Actually, what side's the motor on? On this one. These are to the outside. The motors were back to the left-hand side. So that would be, this goes out. Actually, this is the other side. Wow, that went on pretty easy. I didn't even have to fight that. All right, and then we put two little screws back. To hold the motor. Don't over tighten it, it's just into plastic. Uh, this side is, the sheathing's a little chewed up here, blown out. The sheathing's all chewed up, but I think it'll be all right. I don't have any tape. The wires aren't scarred. My tube is filthy. It's like, I probably shouldn't even try to do anything to it right now until I get it on and my hands cleaned. All right, let's, uh, let's go put this on. Let's go back there and stick this on. Oh, I thought you guys were on. So uh, I had to finish putting this down, this trim. I couldn't get behind the, the motor. Uh, I think I can just leave it. Should I cut it? What do you think? I have to go get us. Oh, I have a scissor right over there. Medical scissor. All right, so we're gonna cut this, tuck it back in there. Put this leg back on. It is filthy. Let me clean. Let me get some cleaner. I'm gonna clean. What do we got going here? Did I put this on wrong? I put this on the wrong direction, right? Cause that ain't gonna work. That would put the motor right into the side there. Let's go switch this head. Okay. <laughs> Here we are. So the motor is gonna have to go out the back. Airplanes and trucks. Ow. Let's motor disconnect this thing, huh? Then I probably don't have to worry about how that thing goes. Oh, we'll just leave it engaged. Come on out. I was putting this on and I was like thinking to myself, I don't remember having to work around this motor. Oh, come on, why, why are you so tight yet? Okay, all right, so put a little bit of that there to keep it from sliding around. So now this thing goes out the back of the camper. So it's gonna come all the way over here. Put our spring up in there. Well, I guess I did have to. I'm still gonna have to mess with that. Whoa. Did I not? Am I losing my marble? I'm losing my freaking marble. I put the screws in the cap on the other one, not on this one. I better open this up and make sure it's the right one. Make sure this is the right motor. How will I know? Because it'll have just the right amount of grease on it. This is not the right motor for this one. This is all old grease. Jeez. This one right here with the fingerprints and everything else all over it. That's the one we want. This is backwards now. Let's see, we need to be, what do you think this will work? Nah, of course not. Well, I guess it did. I guess it did. Well, that's not the right direction either. Out the back, like that.
gonna be pointed over. Let's see if that goes down there. Hey, nice. All right. Now I got grease all over my hand. I just cleaned them because I was gonna try to keep this thing clean. All right, here. Okay. One. That's how my brain works. It's kind of all over the place, isn't it? Tighten that up. All right. Gee. So this side is filthy. We got a little bit of this left in here. Take some paper towel. This side off here real quick. And then the other sides we can get to. It's not all of this side actually. Um, where is it? There it is. Oxidation remover up here. This stuff, look at that. Did you see that? Like it takes, there was that stain that was right there, gone. Here, watch this. This side, we'll put some oxidation remover, Meguiar's on here, and then we'll clean this side. Isn't that crazy? It says it's a cleaner. They ain't lying. All right. Let's go put this on. I did it. This piece of molding, I don't have to replace. It's hard, but it's still sealed good. It's hidden, protected by the, uh, by the, this guy, this direction. The wire kind of hides behind this thing here. There it is. We've got one bolt down here on the bottom. The rest are nuts. I didn't bring my... Oh. I didn't bring my uh, ratchet. Let me go get the ratchet. Okay, let's tighten this thing up. I will plug it in. Put those wires in the right spot. That's... Am I happy with that? Oh, I can sneak them behind those screws. Yeah. Where'd my shorty go? I thought I had it back here. Okay, now, for some reason I took all the sockets for this and put it over on the front where I was working. Okay, so let's, uh, let's plug her in and see what we got going here. Let me grab the remote. Orange, let's reset it. Oh, we have motor connected. Yes, up connected. She's still whining. Can you hear her whining? It sounds like it's coming from up in the, it's coming from up in the top. I wonder if it's that clutch. It's definitely not as loud as it was, I don't think. Well, that's disappointing. Um, maybe I'll check that clutch, but I'm gonna uh, finish this other jack and put it on there. I think that's going to conclude this video. If I figure out what's wrong with that, I will, uh, I'll update this and let y'all know. Uh, maybe even in a further video, but this video is getting kind of long, I think so. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging around with me out here at the airport while I, <laughs> while I uh, mess around with my truck camper and the hep jacks. So till next time, I guess, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Um, there should be an Amazon link down below. Use it if you go shopping on Amazon. Really appreciate that too. So I guess till next time. See you later. Bye. All right. So a little follow up here. So I pulled that. This is the one that wasn't making noise on the back. I pulled it off and I noticed that there's wear right here on this plastic underneath where the clutch gear goes. Um, I took it off and I put a brass, uh, we had a brass washer. So I put a real thin brass washer under there and that seems to have fixed it. So it's not, it makes the noise every now and then, but not like it used to, unless you really load it up, um, then it starts to make the noise. But, so I don't know if, I imagine one of these other brass um, bushings that are under here is is wore out over the years. 
and it's just putting some pressure on that in a weird way, which is kind of odd, right? Because this sits on top of everything, right? So if it twists that way, it's going to lift it up. If it twists that way, I guess if this one twists, it could load it up odd. Um, but anyway, I'm going to, um, I'm going to leave it like that for a little while and see what happens. If, if it still keeps making noise or gets worse, I'll probably pull that motor off and pull those bushings out and order some new bushings for it. But I think that's it. Hopefully it'll stay quiet for me, but uh, that'll be it. So that's the follow up. See you guys later. Four jacks. Let's go down a little level. So put them all down to the ground. Two front ones. Now let's all go up. No more squealing from this one after I put that washer in there. And they're all going the same speed now. Before, it would go up crooked. And one of the jacks would always come off the ground at a different time. So looks good. All right, man, happy with that. Cool.